Welcome to Shelf Space. I'm your host, Rodimus13, and today we got something kind of different to look at. Today we are unboxing the RG Talgies. Uh, some of you guys may remember that I built a uh, kit for uh, Shoki Review's uh, Lupus for Lupus contest, and one in my uh, section for that, as well as the uh, grand prize for that. And this was the uh, prize for winning first place in Intermediate. Um, this will be my first RG kit, so I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous to uh, do just about anything with this thing. But for now, let's open her up, see what's inside. Oh, that's right, the uh, RG boxes have uh, print on the inside of the cases too. We'll take a look at that when we uh, do the full review. So, we got... One, two, three, four bags packed with runners. So let's uh, take a closer look at these. You can already see all sorts of interesting, very small, tiny parts. Come on, open up. Away with you. So... We got uh, the B runner here, which is a uh, inner frame runner, because that's a thing with the RG kits is that they got their own little inner frame. And if I remember correctly, this is the kind of thing that it comes like pre-jointed, and it's kind of weird, uh, but really interesting. Oh, let's take a look at the sticker sheet here, which has some neat little foil stickers, and then we got clear ones here. Uh, for the different warning markings as well as like the uh, eagle crest for the shield. I just realized I had this thing upside down. How dare I? Uh, oh, there's the uh, the eye sticker there. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, here is the A runner. Move this out so you can see it. These are fairly big runners for such a uh, small kit. And uh, so we got uh, bits of uh, the different armor. And I think some of these might be for thrusters and stuff like that. Pieces are broken down so small, I'm not even completely certain what I'm looking at right now. Okay. So now we got uh, runner E1. And, uh, wow, this one's a lot glossier than the other one. But here's some of the waist armor, uh, bits for the uh, legs. Yeah, wow, this is really shiny in comparison to the other one. But they uh, like to do uh, different kinds of plastic for each of these. Here is a beam saber runner, H1, which has clear beam sabers. And then some other parts that I have no idea. This beam saber is a little twisted. Also, this feels a feels a little bit uh, stiff for a beam saber thing. So not entirely certain what's going on here. Next one. So now we got. Runner D1, which has, uh, these are like little yellow details for, there's the head, the shield, the shoulders. These all add a nice little bit of uh, color separation to everything. So that's actually really cool. Here's runner H2, which is this single red piece, which, oh, that's the uh, crest on the head. I was trying to figure out what that was. Neat, okay. Now we have runner C1, which here, it's another glossy plastic runner, which we got the shield. Uh, there's uh, the shoulder armor. I think those are parts of the, um, uh, the uh, like, calf armor or something like that. There's the chest, the uh, back, little plug thing for it. Very similar to the uh, HG Leo, which isn't surprising. Oh, and there's the teeny tiny... Uh, Zex figure that comes with this. Oh my god, am I gonna have to paint that thing? I may have to try to paint that thing. That frightens me. Okay, moving right along. Okay. 
And now we have Runner E2, again with the sort of glossy white plastic. Um, I believe this is a copy of another runner that we looked at earlier, but so we got more stuff for the legs. Um, oh, that's part of uh, the uh, thruster backpack, if I remember correctly. Okay. Now we got runner G2, not to be confused with Transformers Generation 2. Um, and this looks like some inner frame stuff. I'm betting that is part of uh, the uh, the thrusters on the back. I don't know for certain though, because I've never built this thing, and I've never built the uh, Master Grade Tolgies, which I've been told is very, very similar to this thing, just you know, bigger. And here we got a big, big set of runners, and I didn't cut through this thing all the way. Okay. There we go, there we go. So here we have an actual Beam Saber runner that's in pink, SB12. This feels more like what you usually expect for a Beam Saber runner. And then we have runner F, which we got the hands there, uh, parts of the gun it looks like, uh, some other inner frame stuff, so like these are the shoulders. Nifty nifty and then we got runner G1 Which has some copies of that stuff that we saw in G2 as well as looks like some inner frame stuff for that's probably the hips uh, Shoulders I think and Just all sorts of stuff This is a very very intricate kit just like RG's are supposed to be uh, assembly instructions in English and the actual instruction booklet. It's actually a saddle stitch booklet. Okay. Really cool picture of the uh, Tolgies there. Oh, so that's what it looks like as in just the inner frame. And I don't think I'll go through all of this. But you can get an idea of how this thing is built. Oh man. There's some complicated looking stuff on this. I mean, I've built a couple of master grades, so it shouldn't be too frightening. Um, so here's painting guide, uh, even showing the tiny little Zex figure. And here's where it, it shows you where all the little uh, caution stickers and stuff go. So um, I probably will go ahead and try that though. We'll see if I maybe do some weathering on this or something first. Gotta build a thing though and and figure out what I'm doing there. Anyway, so lots of interesting stuff on this. This is a completely different beast from a uh, high grade kit, which is what I've been doing a lot lately. I have been working on a master grade um, double O uh, Sun riser uh, in addition to some of the stuff I've been uh, building for the channel here, but nothing quite like this. But I'm excited, I want to give it a shot, and I mean I earned this kit, so least I can do is build it and show it off to you guys. Anyway, that's been the unboxing for this. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, ring the bell, check the uh, comments below, um, sorry not the comments below, check the uh, description below for uh, links to my storefront where I actually have official uh, shelf space uh, t-shirts among other things and I'll see you guys the next time you invade my shelf space